Welcome to today's tutorial on upgrading your vCenter server appliance from 6.7 to version 8.0. This guide will walk you through the process step by step. Before starting the upgrade process, it's crucial to check the upgrade path on the VMware website to ensure compatibility with your current version. As per VMware's recommendation, if your current vCenter server appliance is version 6.5 or earlier, you must first upgrade to version 6.7 or 7.0 before proceeding to version 8.0. Once you've confirmed the upgrade path, head over to the VMware website to download the installation file for vCenter Server Appliance 8.0. The installation file contains executable files for both GUI and CLI upgrades. For today's demonstration, we'll focus on the GUI upgrade method. Now, let's talk about the prerequisites for the upgrade process. Firstly, when upgrading, you'll need a temporary IP address for the vCenter server instance. In our lab session, we'll use 192.168.1.24 as the temporary IP address. Ensure that this temporary IP address has the same access rights as the permanent vCenter server instance to port 443. Make sure any firewalls in your environment allow both instances to access port 443. Additionally, before proceeding with the upgrade, it's essential to create an image-based backup or snapshot of the vCenter server appliance being upgraded. This serves as a precaution in case of any failures during the upgrade process. If you're upgrading a vCenter server appliance with an external platform services controller, you must first converge the external platform services controller to an embedded platform services controller before performing the upgrade. With all the prerequisites in place, let's dive into the GUI upgrade process. The GUI upgrade is a two-stage process. The first stage involves deploying the OVA file of the new appliance on the target ESXi host or vCenter server instance. Once the OVA deployment is complete, you'll be redirected to the second stage of the process. This stage sets up and transfers the services and configuration data from the old appliance to the newly deployed appliance. First, locate the downloaded installation file on your client computer and mount the ISO file. Navigate to the UI installer, then open the Win folder since your client computer is running Windows OS. Next, run the installer executable file. In the first interface of the installation wizard, you'll find four options. For this lab, select the Upgrade option since we're updating vCenter server. Read through the introduction and click Next. Now, take a moment to read through the end user license agreement. Once you've acknowledged it, click Next to continue. Now, you'll need to insert the source vCenter server's IP address and click Connect to Source. Enter the single sign on username, password, and the root password of the old vCenter server. In the second part, insert the IP address, username, and password of the ESXi host that manages the old vCenter server. Once done, click Next and accept any certificate warnings that may appear. Now, let's configure the deployment target details. Insert the IP address of the target ESXi host, along with the username and password details. Click Next and accept any certificate warnings that may appear. In this interface, provide a new vCenter inventory name and set a password for the new vCenter server. Now, it's time to select the deployment size and storage size. Refer to the provided table to select the suitable deployment size for your environment. For this lab session, we'll choose the tiny deployment with default storage size. Select the data store with thin disk mode and click Next. 
Now, configure the network settings for the new vCenter server. Select the network IP version and insert the temporary IP address. This temporary IP address will be used until the deployment is complete. Insert the subnet mask, default gateway, and DNS server IP address, then click Next. Finally, verify the details you've previously inserted. Ensure everything looks correct, then click Finish to continue. Stage 1 update task is initiated. Now, you'll need to wait for the task to complete. Please be patient while the update task completes. Stage 1 is complete. Click Continue to proceed to Stage 2. Read through the introduction and click Next to run the pre-upgrade test. This step may take some time as the pre-upgrade test runs. Once the test is complete, you'll see the pre-upgrade check result. In our deployment, we have only warnings, so we can simply close the window and click Next to continue. Now, in this interface, you can select which data you'd like to copy from the old vCenter to the new one. For this lab, we'll choose to copy only the configuration and inventory details. Click Next to proceed. Select the Backup Reminder checkbox and click Finish. Now, wait until all data is copied to the new vCenter. Stage 2 is also completed. Read through the messages and click Close. Congratulations! You now have access to the newly deployed vCenter server. We've successfully completed the vCenter server upgrade process from 6.7 to 8.0. Thank you for following along with this tutorial. If you found it helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more tech tutorials.